Mayung Udtog, Mayung Pagpay Udtog, Gigan sa University of Science and Technology of Southern Philippines. This is your new the Lunch Kahan. My name is Eric, and you're watching Lunch Jack. the U.S. TV system. Join me today for a chat as we unfold different activities and initiatives in the University 7 Point Agenda Dynamic. As a science and technology university, we take pride in the innovations that we do. U.S. TV is known to compete in the global arena, especially with the great minds of our trail lasers. And for this episode, we will be joined by our senior innovators, Miles Giza Ipanag and Angelica D'Italia, Fourth year civil engineering students. Mario Udo and welcome to Lunch Chat. Kumusta? Mario Udo. Mario Udo, kumusta ba ito? Before we proceed sa itong uh, proper na uh, interview, kumusta ba yung first seven? Ito naman. Kapoy dito siya, labi na ang that is so good to hear you. Now let's proceed as a proper interview. Um, we heard no about your participation in circular uh, CPS Asia or the CCA uh, innovation competition. Can you tell us more about this experience and how did you prepare for it? So the Innovation Competition and the Circular Campus Program is organized by the Circular Cities Shop. It aims to build an innovation movement that motivates or encourages young innovators like us to develop sustainable circular solutions to address environmental waste issues and help accelerate the transition from linear economy to a circular economy. This is accomplished with the program's collaboration with universities all across Asia, offering students apply learning opportunities that focuses on aligning circularity and innovation. Uh, our primary preparation for this is that uh, it came from our entrepreneurship class during the second semester last uh, academic year where we were tasked to develop our own business ideas but it should still be in line with our course. With that, we were then introduced to uh, business model canvas and pitching, which and all that is the new it's just a course that I focus in the construction industry. So, I don't know if you have any researches that maybe don't go into the first time of business idea, but for business, it has to be. Right. Now, I'm going to ask you again, I'm going to ask you again, it all started as a project, sa inyo may isang subject, and now, nakabot mo ang mga competition. So, kudos to you guys. Congratulations, no? And before we proceed, of course, after my next question, let us take a may nga padula para lang po medyo malusin ako lang taga may no. Ang atong game for this lunch is entitled Guess the Food. So, ang atong mechanics for this game is Balimuray ako siya yung pinang menu. Pero with a twist, kahit ang only category, kahit food, uh, Filipino food to be exact. Tapos, you have to guess it in 45 seconds. Ay, yung buhat nun lang. Okay, yung ulo niyo sa ako ah, ang mga things, like, for example, ingredients, things like that. And then ako matumatres, yes or no. Kana na, gano'n ay hindi. Ito na kapalo, kasi hindi ko kumuluto. Pero dito, so mga na, yes or no na ako matumatres. And you have to um, get the mystery food, uh, Filipino food, in 45 seconds. So, get yes, that. Okay, can I get a thumbs up from you guys? Oh, ah, very good, Kyle, oh, very good. Okay, so, one timer na ka. Okay, timer starts now. Uh, two, yes. Yes. Uh, one, no. Pwede. Pwede pa. Yes. I don't go. No. Uh, take a time. Matis? <laughs> <laughs> um, what No. Oh, 
So, ayan naman. Ang ta, medyo nagusin up from home sa atong pag-games. Kaya ko lang. Medyo pilot ni Kato, no? Pero kung natin ko ako. Sige, sige. So, okay. Ang proceed na to sa itong next question. Your team decided to make spare square. So, it's an e-commerce app that allows construction firms to sell their waste by products and enables craftsmen from other industries to purchase it and use it as raw material. How did you come up with this idea and how did you make it happen? Actually, there is a funny story behind the making of Spare Square. Okay, so among the Tech Entrepreneurship subject, we were asked to identify a problem and then we're also tasked to give a solution to that problem. And then the night before the presentation, we brainstormed. So, if you want to the idea, you can formulate it in one idea. But if you want to ask Caesar to look at ideas. So, the Spare Square is just a filler with a little bit of a game, sir. I want to present the old fellow, but then events turned out that you can see it in the future. You can see it in the future. You can see it in the future. So, from that, we joined BCCA and then we also joined the Sahara Point. Uh, we were chosen as one of the top 15 finalists, and from that, pitching, and from that, bootcamp. Wow, you know, you know, from scratch, the idea, I mean, kind of, it's a filler the idea, and you won't have a point in the competition. So, we'll just get to you, so congratulations. Let's give ourselves a round of applause. Grab it. Oh, so, our last question na dahil, is how many initiatives in the team okay, can contribute to you? greatly in fostering the university's innovation and uh, entrepreneurship. So as young innovators, what's the importance of innovation sa, in today's world? And how can young innovators like you ins continue to inspire the younger generation? Um, for us, uh, innovation is very important because it makes our life more easier, mm -hmm. but it makes your life more convenient. And we can't imagine our lives without our phones or without any technology around us. So, as we live in the world today, na accessible kaya sa to ang all the tools to maka innovate with our world. Yes. We didn't talk about that for long, but makahelp sa to ang. And then we also inspire other young entrepreneurs na to just um to just continue to dream. Kaya sa mo ay it's not uh it's maybe not our choice na magpunta ng ayon na field. Kaya lagi as civil engineers na focus ni sa ang field. But then, entrepreneurship comes to us and we open our eyes to the world of entrepreneurship and technology. So, for the young entrepreneurs, we can just continue to build that dream and to never give up on that dream. And then, we will eventually reach the peak of this year. Hey, Gabriel. And the whole part of the young entrepreneurs, why do they continue to dream? Yeah, I really want to know. Continue to dream, what can you do? Uh, so just like Angel, I'm uh, uh, also sa innovation in the new world. I'm very excited especially na when we're talking about the world's uh, most pressing issues like the property, the uh, health, the health sector, and uh, it really changes the game. We're more mas productive, ka, mas efficient, and then uh, it will make life easier to each other. So uh, for the young innovators out there, kaya ako na din maingan, hindi nila hindi ito mahalito ka pa na naging times na need it lang rin mag-adjust. Like, mag-tribal, mag-iterate, kaya sa mga pag experience na lang hindi ikala ka na ito mo. Like, may times na kapit namin mong undang, tapos stop namin, like, hindi nga ba sa point na hindi tayo may good draw. Na, ako na lang ka na, hindi mo ako, hindi sa competition, hindi nagigit siya tayo. Tapos, ito na hindi ako ka na, 
end dito. Pero magulog namin sa bangka sa kanang bangin. So, kung sa mga generators na yun, yes, pala yun na yun. Kaya yun, misal pag kung saan nakawagot ang dala niyong makita niya, nangyong diyan ko na siya gusto. Alright, thank you so much no, for taking time to help you and, to, um, and for my answer some more questions. There you have it. Thank you very much for being with us once again and we wish you good luck in all the endeavors you'll be taking in the future. In the University 7 Point Agenda Dynamic, the initiatives of this innovators fall under the letter D, which is to develop and implement strategies in fostering innovation and entrepreneurship. Once again, this has been your Kalachikahan and Eric Ibaba. See you next episode and enjoy the rest of the day.